Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play. You're with Sambu and joining us this week, that's right, it's a blast from the past. It is none other than Seraphis, our level 43 Worgen Mage and Merkelot. <laughs> Say good day, Seraphis. The beast in me hungers. The beast in us hungers indeed, and I hope it's hungering for you guys here, questing in none other than one of my favourites. Look at this. It is Dust Wallow Marsh. That's right, it's been such a long time since we've been here. Over on the area that's near Theramore Isle, you might remember, we made our way over here into the middle of the swamp. That's right, the swamp. One of my favourite areas from back in vanilla days. And we're here at another one of my favourites, this questline here. Tabitha. Now back in the day, some of you guys might remember Tabitha was all about your mage. It was all about those epic quests and getting new gear and new skills if I remember rightly. And it was a big effort to try and find this woman. And in fact, back in the day there were never any of these helpers here. So you literally had to scour this area of the swamp in order to try and find her house, let alone anything else. And of course if we pop outside and have a look, look at this. Look at it. It is so classic. It is definitely here in the swamps that I have some really really fond memories here. The dust wallow marsh. Look at those over there. The mottled dry wallow crocolisk. Remember those folks? That's right there are a whole bunch of critters and creatures here in the swamps that you will no doubt remember from times gone by. Good times too I might add. By the way, this little farm yard area next to her house should also bring back memories for you guys playing since vanilla. Well, listen to that music in the background as well. Let's have a bit of a look see around. In fact, don't forget we can blink because we're a mage, of course. It's so cool to be playing on the mage. In fact, I had a quick look at the skills before I started filming and just reminded myself of how much I do love playing as a mage. Seriously, it's been way, way, way too long. Great. It is great. And little things like, oh, there we go. Make sure I've got my molten armor, by the way. Increasing my spell crit chance by 5% and reducing all my damage taken by 6%, which is really handy. I just love the fact that we've got all these teleports here. Let's not forget that. We've got one to Stormwind, Ironforge, Darnassus, Exodar, and Theramore. And of course, also I've got my portals to allow other players in my party to do that. Oh, let's not also forget that I can conjure refreshments. Let's put them in my bags. And there we go, got myself some conjured mana cookies, restoring basically, what's that, almost 2,000 health and 1,500 odd mana over 30 seconds. Very, very handy, of course, being a mage. Let's not also forget this. Hello Merkelot, good lord Merkelot is classic isn't it, the good old crusader there and 10 internet points if you can remember how I got Merkelot. I'll give you a clue, it's got something to do with another game from Blizzard Entertainment. Oh so cute indeed. Two forms means that I am a worgen, that means I'm also human pretty much so I can switch between them whenever I like. And I just love the sound effects and the visuals there. All right, so you can see here we've got lots and lots of quests. Hello, Murtai the Pilgrim. Good to see another player here. In fact, let's give them a bit of a wave. Hello. We have got lots of stuff to do over here. Oh, thank you very much. They've given me a buff there. Legacy of the Emperor. Look at that. We've got our strength, agility, and intellect increased by 5%. Let's say thanks to them. And, of course, that's... I am honoured. That's what I love to be in a MMO for. It's about playing with others and playing nice and having other folks do things. And of course I love a design of an MMO where it is beneficial to interact with each other. I don't think there's anything I can give her at my early level. I don't think I've got any buffs that I can share, unfortunately. Because of course it's all changed since the old days. And that's because of this, the new talent trees. And that means that a lot of the stuff that I could do is later on down in the tree. And it's also here later on down in my action skills and don't forget I am arcane I'm not fire I'm not frost I'm an arcane mage so a lot of my buffs if I can remember arcane brilliance that's the one there we go infuses the target with brilliance increasing their spell power by 10% and their crit chance for 5% for one hour now I can't give anyone that until I'm level 58 so way down the track but that's enough yakking folks let's have a chat to Tabitha here because we got lots to do in this most classic of areas here in World of Warcraft light be with you light be with with you as well, Tabitha's farm. Here we go, it's good of Theramore to send, good lord, Merkelot's a bit annoying, isn't he? <laughs> Cute though. It's good of Theramore to send someone. Your guard's friend's suspicions were correct. We've got some new neighbors and they aren't the kind you'd bring a casserole. 
Go okay, I love the quest text here in World of Warcraft. Help for Mud Sprocket when that goblin, what's her name? Boxy, Foxy, Moxie, that's it. Anyway, when she came through here on her way to the Zeppelin wreck, remember the Zeppelin wreck, folks, she said the town of Mud Sprocket was having some problems. That crashed Zeppelin was bringing them fresh supplies. If you follow the road south of here past Stonewall Ruins, you'll eventually come to Mud Sprocket. Why don't you check in with Dresit Drip Valve down there? and see if there's anything you can do to help. So we've got to speak with Very him well. a bit later on. That's exactly what we will do. Apprentice Garion, this Good is Tabitha's apprentice. Good day to you as well. The Grim Totem weapon. During the last Grim Totem attack, I was wounded, but not before I managed to capture a curious totem our enemies were using against us. It seemed to be emitting raw bolts of energy during the battle. But in all of my experiments, I haven't managed to figure out how it works. I'll loan the totem to you, if you agree to help me test it. I think we can do that. The watery areas surrounding the farm are home to pesky mottled dry wallow crocolisks and dry wallow dagamores. Try fighting the crocolisks near the totem. So this is a bit of a classic quest as well. I do remember this one sadly. All those years ago, use the captured totem to set it on the ground and kill 10 mottled dry wallow crocolisks or dry wallow dagamores near it to test its Safe effects. Travels. Definitely be doing that. All oh, the fields come back the regent thief or the reagent thief depending on where in the world you're from if there's one thing you can count on apprentice moorland to do it's whine about reagents normally i just ignore him and it never works this time i'm gonna try something different maybe if i replace the missing regents before he notices he'll leave me alone the most common regent we both use is marsh venom which comes from dark fang creepers and noxious shredders yeah, look at that. Merkelot is shuddering in his boots about this one in the marsh north of the farm. If you bring me the venom, I'll replace it before Morlan notices it's gone. Oh, man. This means spiders, folks. God, I just... Oh, man. You guys know how much I love spiders. Not. Anyway, collect six vials of marsh venom from dark fan creepers. <laughs> no. <laughs> or noxious shredders. Oh, my God. This is terrible. Okay, we'll accept that, that reluctantly. There we go. And I think we've got a quest outside here. As well. Oh, look at this. I love it out here. <laughs> it is so cool. Oh, I can't wait to quest through here. Can't believe we've waited this long. Although it has been good to catch up with Seraphis, our Pandaren monk, of course, and get her up to speed. But now it's nice to be back. Let's have a chat. How are you? I'm very well, thanks, with Apprentice Morlan. And he's got two quests as well. The Direhorn Raiders. The Grim Totems up at Direhorn Post just to the north are getting bolder by the day. At night, you can often hear them chanting about their deeds in battle against people who have tried to settle here. They're determined to drive us from Tabitha's farm, even though she's trained generations of apprentices here. And I was one of those, by the way, back in the day. We've defended the farm as best we can, but Apprentice Gary was wounded in the last attack. Go to Direhorn Post and kill any Grim Totem you can find. The attacks must stop. And there you go. You see, we got to kill 12 Grim Totem in Direhorn Post. All right, so see kind of... Later grim task there never mind the zeppelin crash another classic from back in the day here not long ago a goblin zeppelin crashed to the east a representative of the steam weedle cartel passed through here a few days ago she was looking for information about the zeppelin's cargo and its pilot Bezel. yes that's right Bezel's wreck i think the area is called but none of us really got a good look at the crash i doubt she'll be able to clean up after the wreck by herself much less recover whatever cargo the vessel might have carried if you have time you may want to check up on her out at Bezel's wreck there you go I knew it due east of here near the mountain speak with Moxie steel grill at Bezel's wreck now again back in the day all you had to go on was this a bit of text saying well it's basically due east of here there we go and that was it back in the day so you used to have to basically look around on the map and go uh, 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 west east okay it must be over that way somewhere and i kind of miss those days to be completely honest it was neat being able to figure out what to do anyway we are as you know sorting our quests by proximity so the first thing we've got here is the reagent thief and that is Marsh Venom. And according to the map, there should be a whole bunch of them over here. So we are, oh, look at that, we've got some graves. I hope that isn't an omen of what's going to go on. There we go, a Dark Fang Creeper. Right away, let's blink over there. And I am not looking forward to this. This is us fighting. Look at that, it's a huge creeping spider. Oh my lord. Okay, here we go. Let us 
see if I can remember how to play a mage. And I'm pretty sure that a frost fire slows the target. Yes, it does. That's handy. And let's see if we can freeze him in place with the good old, what is that, a frost nova. And now we've got a cone of cold. Oh my lord, it's been way, way, way too long since I've played this. I can hardly remember. There we go with our arcane missiles. Slowly but surely taking it down. And we got ourselves some shadow silk. But we didn't get what we need, which was the marsh venom. Oh boy, okay, let's have a recap. Oh, and there we go. There's some drywall daggermore. I think I've got to use this here, the captured totem around them as well. We'll definitely be doing that. But let's have a look at our skills here and figure out what's going on. We've got the frost fire bolt, which is definitely slowing and frost fire damage. So that's cool. We've got the arcane. Arcane Blast, which let's not forget, its damage is increased by 50% per Arcane Charge. And I think this generates an Arcane Charge. Oh my god! Okay, let's drop the totem while we're here. There we go, there is the totem. And let's see if we can freeze him in place there with the good old Frost Nova. Okay, so I guess we've got to kill this guy while, yes, there you go, you can see the electricity is arcing. So basically this thing here, the Arcane Blast, increases an Arcane Charge. There you go, you can see it generating it. And the more we use it, the more charges come up. It's got two stacks there, which means the more damage this does, which I kind of like. Okay, there we go. Totem tests performed, and we can, of course, skin ourselves a Crocolix. Now, if you're wondering why we can skin this much faster than we can on our Pandaren Monk, it's because we have a racial passive that increases the speed of skinning, which is very, very cool. All right, let's see if we can bring this guy over here. I wonder if I can... Yeah, there we go. And bring it over to the captured totem. Of course, I could recast it, but that's no fun. And there we go. So this is now under the influence. Let's see if we can freeze it in place with the frost fire nova. There we go. The frost nova, rather. Not the frost fire nova. And I want to use the arcane blast again because every time I do use it, it effectively increases the amount of dam damage that it does the next time you use it. So, yeah, kind of cool. And there we go. Two tests are completed Whew. and don't forget that oh look at this this is all part of the Beezle's wreck quest if I remember rightly so yeah that's going to be used much later on okay let's see now let's see if we can do a slowing frost fire bolt and then use the arcane blast while he's slowly making our way to us because of course that means we can build up these charges there we go freezing it in place and taking him out Right now, sadly, I don't think I actually did that close enough to, or either that or it despawned that little totem. So, yeah, whoopsie. Look at this. Look at it. And listen to that music, folks. Can you hear the sound effects and the music there? This is absolutely classic stuff. Classic vanilla stuff, I might add. Now, what are those sparkly things over there? I have no idea. Anyway, let us drop ourselves a totem. And then we're going to bring this guy over. Oh, it's very creepy out here in the marshes, isn't it? Very, very creepy. And I do remember running around here back in the early days and quite literally being quite scared. Didn't know what I was going to find. Arcane Barrage there, taking him down. And of course, you know what? We are very high DPS as a mage once it gets going. Love being a mage. All right, let's bring over this guy. There we go. Really, really long range. We're underwater there, but never mind. Bring him over towards this captured totem. And of course, I should be blinking. Forgive me, it's been such a long time since I have played on a mage. go get out of the way and see if we can dps him down we got our arcane there we go the good old arcane explosion which was what took him down in the end there let's do some skinning and i think our skinning is going to get quite high we're up to about 282 at the moment now can i just add a classic item that is dropping into our bags here the good old mystery meat and again that's been around since the very very early days of wow there's a fishing spot there can we fish I'm pretty sure we can fish yes we can now, I wonder what that is. I think it does show up. Oh, a Greater Sage Fish School. So it does show up on the mini map as well. Oh, look at that. We've got ourselves some Rumsy Rum Black Label there. Very cool. 
And I'm going to, there we go, right in the center of that greater sage fish. You know what, I don't mind doing a spot of fishing, it's very relaxing, and you can see my fishing has increased to 148, so I can definitely do with doing some more in order to get that up. Come on, come on, Bob, 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 Bob. Now don't you scare, oh, oh no, no, no. Merkelot got in the way, I can't believe that, although we did get a, we did get the fish we wanted. There we go, the raw greater sage fish, if we have a look in the, yeah, there we go. Restores 540 health and 840 mana. But of course we can use that in our cooking as well. I do love the whole crafting system in World of Warcraft. We fish, then we cook, and it's like this great big chain, this great big circle of life. Circle of crafting life, if you might. All right, now I can see over the background there while we wait. Oh, there it is. Come on, let's see if we can get that. And there we go. Oh, look at that! We got ourselves a journeyman fisherman, which is great. We have actually got to 150 with our fishing skill. In fact, if we go into our professions here, and we can see fishing, we are now an expert. That is great. I'm really, really happy about that. That is cool. All right, I'm glad that happened on camera as well. But we've got bigger fish to fry. Yes, pardon the pun. Over here, all sorts of things. Oh, God, remember those? The acidic swamp oozes? Ew, I remember those. Nasty, nasty. Here we go, the captured totem. Oh, of course, we don't need the captured totem for these spiders. The Dark Fan Creeper, you can see here, what we're actually trying to get is the, you can see it on the tooltip there, the Marsh Venom is what we want. Let's freeze it in place. And get out of its range. Good old Arcane Barrage there, the Arcane Missiles rather, taking him down. And there we go, we got the Marsh Venom, one out of six. Although we do need the Crocolisk over there, the Dagger Maw. Come on, over you come. Because we need you to be near this Captured Totem. And Arcane Missiles, come on, over here. There we go, and you can see that yellow arcing there. That means that it is going to count. Taken down there. Great stuff, great DPS that we've got here. Five out of ten. Oh, this is so much fun. I love what, you know what? I would just actually walk around this area. And look at that, the Noxious Shredder. That's also what we need the Venom from. Some classic critters that are coming out of the woodwork here. I love this so much. And we've got a slow spell there as well. Don't forget that, which actually snares the target, reducing their casting time by 50% and their speed by 50% as well. Oh, mages are classic, are they not? There we go. Nothing for us in terms of Marsh Venom, but we do get some heavy leather out of it. Well, look, this is a whole bunch of fun, and I know you guys hopefully will love questing out in here as much as I do. But what I'll do is we'll take a break, and I'll get these numbers up so that you guys don't get bored with me going on about how amazing this zone is. So we, just for the record, we need to get these Dagamores here near the Captured Totem, and we need to get ourselves six Marsh Venom. So we'll come back when we're closer to our targets. We'll see you in just a moment. And welcome back folks, here we are questing through and look at what has walked past here. We've got a named mob there, just thought I'd show you this. Dead Mire, not sure, he's not an elite. I'm not sure if he's gonna count towards one of our quests here with this captured totem. We'll soon find out, but he's very large. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Now, I haven't been using this temporal shield here, which also heals us, so I'm gonna use that. Oh, but this guy is nasty. I wonder if he's going to count. I don't think so. Woo! Okay, that was fun. And no, he didn't count. Dead Mire. Well, I wonder what the history behind him is. Very interesting. Anyway, as it happens, we're getting very close now. You can see we've got 7 out of 10 of the totem tests done. Now, I'm going to pull these guys here over. We do need to be in the Quagmire, I learned. You can see we're in the Dragon Merc there. We need to come back this way a little bit until we are in the Quagmire. There we go. And then drop it or else it won't actually work. Now I need to put that shield up and I do need to get myself hit as well so that I get a bit of healing back. There we go, 8 out of 10. And listen to that music. Oh, so classic, so, so, so classic. Let's see if we can drag this guy over. Come on, over you come. The Dragon Merc, we do not want to be there. The 
it's all right hopefully he will come back the quagmire is where we want to be all right let's get these arcane charges up and i am keeping an eye on my health as well now don't forget also that the arcane missiles also benefit from the arcane charges if they will proc and they didn't seem to want to do that that's all right of course we've got our conjured mana cookies there we can eat those and that is the classic sound of eating food in the world of warcraft of course absolutely love it remember back in the day questing through here the first time you've ever been through here it was all fun and adventure and to be honest i still get that feeling even today questing around in world of warcraft even though i know exactly what is going on all right so you can see we've got five out of six marsh venom nine out of ten of the tests performed so i think we've got to go hunting now let's see if we can blink around a little bit let's see if we can find some more of these guys so what do we got the grim totem weapons we yes that's saying that we need to be over here somewhere hmm now what is that they are fishing schools that are showing up on the mini map and here we go we come across a path remember running around these back in the day oh hello mr crocodile we will take you thank you very much in the quagmire let's drop down one of these totems and i'm going to pop my temporal shield up as well Good old arcane missiles. Let's blink away from here. Oh. And there we go. 10 out of 10 of our tests performed. All done. What do you think about that there, Seraphis? Fantastic. It is fantastic indeed. Now what we need is, I think, one more Marsh Venom. So let's head on over here. Let's see if we can get these guys to get us to drop one. That'd be nice. Another temporal shield, please. Come on, drop us a venom. No, no venom. That's okay. It means our skinning will get leveled up. We're at 283. Now let's click on this and see where we need to go. We can head over this way. I think that's what we'll do. Nothing wrong with a bit of investigating around the Dust Wallow Marsh even though we're getting ourselves into trouble. Nice work, there we go. Now don't forget too, as a mage, if we have a look down here, we've got this spell called Evocation, as we get a bit of our health back, by the way. Now I could use my bandages as well, but of course the food is free because I make it. Evocation here, gain 10% of your total mana instantly and another 30% of your total mana over six seconds. So don't forget, if you do run out of mana, then you can just use that skill, as long as you've trained it, of course, to get back your juice, your blue juice powering all of your spells all right so come on what do we need oh there we go that's what we want let's do a bit of a blink we want you for your goo basically get that buff up temporal shield and now some arcane missiles which should be buffed so they should take him down oh 22 health come on there we go light feather no not dropping the goo that we need and look at that classic stuff there and the water i do you know what's funny i like the new water but something in me likes the old water as well it's still classic and of course i don't know if you guys knew but you can set it to the old water by just turning the water value down in the option so that is still an option there if you like to look like classic wow all right here we go let's see if this guy is going to give us the marsh venom that we need missiles no a forked tongue can you believe this well we're not having any luck at all are we uh, let's see they are not the ones we want that is though I need to get closer yes you do need to get closer I'm out of range. oh damn it after the cast he got out of range can you believe it Be 
if you're getting out of range. And there we go, finally the Marsh Venom that we needed, plus a bonus skin as well. Let's go into our running wild dark form. There we go, and of course that's because we are a Worgen. So we can do that, it is awesome. I love it so much. Being a mage Worgen just brings so many benefits. There, It's just so much fun, I love it. Here we go, who's this? Murtai, oh that's Murtai, that's who we were looking at before and they look like they've gone AFK. All right, back into here and here we go. Apprentice Garion, hello to you sir. Boy have we been busy for you. Here we go, have you had any luck testing the totem? You better believe that we have. The apprentice listens as you describe your experiment. A haze and some lightning, that's it. There's got to be more to the totem than just that. The Grim Totems aren't likely to bring something like this to the battlefield unless it has some kind of utility. Safe you know travel. what, that's very, very true. The Reagent Thief, did you get that venom? Morland's going to discover that it's gone any moment now. That's all right, we've got you back there. He inspects the venom. This is absolutely perfect. He'll never know the difference. And you can see here that the Spellbound Cloak that we got isn't as good as what we've already got. So I think we'll just, whatever's going to sell for the most money, looks like it's that bow there so we'll take that and sell it to the vendor which is right here by the way if I remember rightly here we go Regina not Regina J Lacerta but Regina Salister got a whole bunch of goods here that and oh look at that they also repair I like that let's even get rid of the stuff that we don't want which is the marshwood bow we definitely don't want that we don't want any fish for now we'll definitely hang on to the heavy hide we don't want any mystery meat it's gooey spider leg all this sort of stuff we should be selling it on the auction house but I'm just going to get rid of it here we've got tender crocolisk meat well look we've got a whole bunch of stuff that could go on the AH that sells quite well so I'm going to keep that in my bags given that we've got it Hello, who's this? I be kill you. It is a blood elf warrior looking like a clown. And of course on the dread steed or whatever it's called there, the great horde mount there. We do love that. All right, shadow silk, that's good for tailoring. So we'll pop that on the AH and well, yeah, a bit of grog doesn't hurt anybody either. There we go. That looks like it to me, folks. We are done here, running out of time. And of course, it's great to see this area populated here on World of Warcraft. And that's thanks to the realm sharing that goes on now with the phasing system in place and do love that blizzard put that in place yes we've got one of those as well there we go a swift frost saber oh classic stuff that is it from us folks i certainly hope you enjoyed this episode certainly hope you'll join me in the next one as we probably go and have a look at our goblin chamois we haven't seen her for such a long time but next time we catch up with seraphis here it looks like we're going to be heading north into the dire horn grim totem area thank you very much for watching do hope you're having a great week wherever you are in the world and do look forward to seeing you next time we will see you then and bye bye never forget never surrender